nth term of the quadratic sequence. Great B topic. So we're asked, first of all, a nice easy two marks. The nth term of sequence is n squared minus 2n. Work out the first three terms. So the first term is when n equals 1. So when n is 1, n squared is 1, minus 2 lots of 1, which is 2. So the first term is minus 1. When n equals 2, we've got 2 squared, which is 4, minus 2 lots of 2, which is also 4. So that gives us 0. And the third term, when n is 3, 3 squared is 9. Take away 2 lots of 3, which is 6, gives us 3. So two marks from that. Um, you'd get one mark if you got two out of the three right. So now we've got a sequence we actually have to work out the nth term for. The um, standard method for this is to look at the difference between the numbers. And we go in 1, 2, 3, 4. So it doesn't have a constant difference after the first set of differences, but on the second one we can see it's going up by 1. Okay, so our standard quadratic sequence 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 that goes up by 3, 5, 7, 9 and the common difference there is 2 and that's the sequence n squared so what we should know from this is that this sequence that goes up by 1 is based on a half of this so it's a half n squared so if we write down a half n squared there's n squared, let's try and write down the half n squared now, so we've got half of n squared is 0 0.5 2 4.5 8 and 12.5 and we've got to get from that sequence to this sequence which is 5 6, 8 11 and 15 so what am I doing to get from here to here, well I'm adding 4.5 here I'm adding 4 here I'm adding 3.5, here I'm adding 3, and here I'm adding 2.5. So this sequence is actually decreasing. So can we work out what this sequence is? So 4.5, 4, 3.5, 3, 2.5. This sequence is going down by a half each time, so minus 0 0.5. And it's the same each time, so this is a linear sequence that's going down by minus 0.5. So if we write down the minus 0.5 times table, just minus 0.5, minus 1, minus 1.5, minus 2, minus 2.5, we'll see to get from here to there, from the red ones to the green ones, we need to add 5, add 5, and they're always, all the way through we're adding 5. So this green sequence is the minus 0.5 times table, so this is minus 0.5n which is that one minus a half n and then I'm adding 5 so that sequence is that so to get from this sequence the, the half n squared I'm having to take away 0.5 oh, actually let's use the half it's prettier than the decimals So I'm having to take away a half of n plus 5 to get to this sequence, which is the sequence we want. So that must be half n squared minus a half n plus 5. Okay, four marks.